Coming up on today's show, we have Louisiana Oil and Gas Association President Don Briggs. He's here to talk with us today about what's in the works here at the Energy Zone and a look back at the highlights of the 2012 legislative session. Welcome to the Zone. Welcome, I'm your host Gifford Briggs and you have just entered the Energy Zone, your place for honest and hard-hitting news and commentary on the most pressing issues surrounding Louisiana's energy industries. Today our guest will be Don Briggs, President of the Louisiana Oil and Gas Association, and he will be talking with us about the Energy Zone in the 2012 legislative session. Let's start with the week's top energy stories. The price of oil continued its steady climb this week to over $90 a barrel as worldwide concerns continued to grow over the value of the euro and uncertainty in the Middle East. In other top news, the Environmental Protection Agency announced this week it is clearing all the wells near the natural gas operations in Dimmick, Pennsylvania because it did not connect any contaminants with hydraulic fracturing. No real shock there. And finally, Republican lawmakers unveiled new legislation last Tuesday that seeks to end a program offering generous loans to unstable clean energy companies. This initiative comes in the wake of the Solyndra scandal in which the solar panel maker filed for bankruptcy despite receiving more than $500 million in government support. It is unfortunate that taxpayers will have to foot the bill for Solyndra's failures. This situation reiterates the point that if we truly want to increase access to America's energy sources, and reduce our nation's dependence on energy from hostile foreign countries, we must adopt an all-of-the-above approach that makes sense. Visit us on Facebook at The Energy Zone TV for links and more information about this week's top news stories. Now, here is Don Briggs with the Drilling Report. Hello, everyone. Here is this week's Drilling Report. In North Louisiana, the Haynesville Shell area, we have uh, 25 rigs drilling up there, which are down from the 140 we had about a year and a half ago. In central Louisiana, in the Tuscaloosa Marine Shell, we have a total of three rigs drilling there, possibly another rig moving in this coming week. South Louisiana land, we have a total of 28 rigs, which includes the rigs in the Tuscaloosa Marine Shell. And in the coastal waters of Louisiana, we have a total of 18 rigs drilling in the coastal waters. And in the Gulf of Mexico, we have a total of 48 rigs. All these, uh, the 48 is getting close to Prima Condo uh, drilling period, so that's a good thing. Altogether, we have a total of 119 rigs drilling in Louisiana. A year ago this time, we had 178, down 59 rigs. So even though that report in some ways may seem bad, but we've got a lot of work coming up. The permits, uh, 13 permits were issued last week for drilling in all these parishes that are highlighted. So. Uh, it looks pretty good for the, for the coming weeks, and that covers it for this week. See you next time for the Drilling Report. Uh, Gifford, back to you. Thank you, Don, for the drilling forecast. Now let's take a few minutes and talk about the Energy Zone in the 2012 legislative session. Don, first I'd like to welcome you as the first guest on the Energy Zone. It certainly is an interesting situation that we have here. Uh, all the years and that you've invested in the oil and gas industry, some would have thought that you'd be the one hosting the show, and, and here we are with the roles reversed. Yeah, I, I just want you to remember, Gifford, I'm the guy that brought you into this world, and I'm the guy that can take you out of it, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Fair, fair enough. Now, let's talk about the energy zone here for a second. Uh, what, is, what has brought you here, Loga here, and, and you know, you, you've got a lot going on already, um, what, what's so unique about this opportunity? Well, <clears throat> you know, Louisiana is, is the energy state, okay? Every individual, every business in the state of Louisiana is impacted directly or indirectly by energy and by Louisiana's oil and gas industry. We have 18 refineries in the state of Louisiana. We have a huge petrochemical industry. All of that is impacted by 
Louisiana's oil and gas industry. Every day, you know, the media talks about energy one way or another, uh, on television, radio, whatever, and, you know, there's not a talk show or a program that's dedicated to the issues surrounding the industry. So today there is. It's going to be this program, the Energy Zone. That's where we're headed. Well, that's incredible. It, it, it's certainly, you know, it's certainly not easy to, to take the association and, and to, you know, take a step forward and to kind of stick your neck out there to see if it works. And we certainly wish you all the best in those endeavors. We just finished the 2012 legislative session just coming on uh, about two months ago, and it certainly was an up and down roller coaster battle for the oil and gas industry. Now that you've had some time, hopefully, to, to, to look back and, and reflect on the session, wh what would you say was the highlight of the 2012 session? Well, the highlight of the session for us was, of course, uh, passing a piece of legislation that uh, Senator Adley carried and Representative Neil Abertson did in the House. And that was dealing with legacy lawsuits. You know, litigation is a major detriment to the, the uh, oil and gas industry in the state of Louisiana. We just recently had a meeting in New Orleans and we had a round table with the presidents and key executives of some very large companies. And the one single issue that stood out was Louisiana's litigious uh, environment. So that is something we need to address and we're hoping that the, the legacy lawsuit uh, 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 bill that we passed, okay, is going to have a positive impact on our industry and time will tell. I think that you'll be able to have at least two or three programs just talking about that particular issue in the future. Well, I believe the legislation goes into effect on August 1st, and if I remember correctly, there was a seminar that LOGA put on to try and educate everybody about what's going on with the legislation and the lawsuits, and can you tell us let's real briefly about what that was all about? Is that something LOGA's ever done before? No, it's not. It's some, it was something new that we did, and, and a very important uh, project because, uh, you know, you pass a piece of legislation, but the key behind all of it is, is educating all the many attorneys that are representing uh, the industry in all these different lawsuits. There's over 200 of these lawsuits and over 2,000 defendants. And so, you know, we, we had to, to, you know, it's a very, it's a very uh, detailed uh, piece of legislation, important piece, and, and the idea was to educate, and of course that's part of our advocacy is to do that. Well, we, we certainly look forward to having you back on the show and to talking about legacy lawsuits in the future. Hopefully we'll be talking about the declining number of lawsuits and not that they're continually being filed. Well, that looks like all that we have time for today. I appreciate you joining us here thank again. You. We certainly hope that you have enjoyed the show today. I want to thank our guest Don Briggs of the Louisiana Oil and Gas Association for joining us here in the zone. Remember, the real talk does not end here. Please join us online on our website, www.theenergyzone.tv, or on facebook.com slash theenergyzonetv, and on Twitter, at theenergyzonetv, to continue the conversation all week long. I'm your host, Gifford Briggs, looking forward to being with you right here each and every week on The Energy Zone. And don't forget, keep those drill bits turning to the right.